I'm Anthony Weaver with the LeadPaintDetectives.com. Old china plates can look amazing, but that doesn't mean you should eat off them. Or does it? Let's look how lead got into our dishes in the first place. Lead has long been used in ceramic ware both in glazes and in decorations. When used in a glaze, lead gives a smooth, glass-like finish that allows bright colors and decorative patterns to show through. It is often associated with rich and intense colors. Lead can be released from the glaze or decoration on the surface of the dish and pass into the food or drink in the dish. This is called leaching. Then when you eat the food, the lead gets into your body. The amount of lead that leaches from a dish depends on the amount of lead in the dish, the type of glazing that is used and how the dish is used, what kind of food is put in it, and how long the food is left in the dish. The Food and Drug Administration states, first, as a bit of background, FDA established and began enforcing limits on leachable lead in tableware 40 years ago. Obviously, any ware manufactured prior to that era was not subject to FDA limits because they didn't exist. The FDA continues, we do not recommend not using old ware unless it shows signs of deterioration such as cracking or pitting of the glaze. This could be a sign that the glaze is disintegrating and could allow lead to leach into food. In addition to using a home test kit, consumers who want to be cautious might choose to avoid storing foods in older hollowware bowls, consuming hot and acidic liquid beverages such as coffee or tea out of cups, and heating bowls, cups, and plates in the microwave. Again, these are qualified recommendations, and the ware is not necessarily unsafe because it is old, but it may not comply with current FDA standards. Common guidelines suggest the safest practice is not to use tableware that you are unsure with food or drink. This is especially true with tableware used by children, pregnant women, or nursing mothers. Follow these precautions. Do not heat food in dishes that contain or might contain lead. Cooking or microwaving speeds the lead leaching process. Do not store food in dishes that contain or might contain lead. The longer the food stays in contact with the dish surface that leaches lead, the more the lead will be drawn into the food. Do not use dishes that contain or might contain lead with highly acidic foods or drinks. Acidic foods and drinks leach lead out of dishes much faster than non-acidic foods. Common acidic foods include foods that contain citrus fruits, apples, tomatoes, soy sauce, and salad dressing. Many drinks are also acidic, such as fruit juices, sodas, especially cola drinks, alcoholic beverages, coffee, and tea. Common non-acidic foods include rice or potatoes, water, and milk are non-acidic drinks. If you do not know if a dish contains lead, do not use it in your everyday routine. Any combination of the first three factors can increase the risk exposing you to lead. An example would be storing spaghetti with tomato sauce in a lead-containing ceramic dish, then heating it in the same dish in the microwave. You don't want to do that. Should I continue to use my old china? This is a decision that each individual must make for themselves. Dishes that contain lead may expose you and your family to small amounts of lead over time. It is recommended that you avoid or reduce lead exposure whenever you can. Ask questions, leave comments, like, subscribe to my channel, and go to leadpaintdetectives.com for more lead safe resources.